Let's solve this system of equations. Let's go ahead and simplify each equation of the system first. I'll begin with the first equation. Let's multiply both sides by 4. So I'm taking this first equation. I'll multiply the left side by 4. And then I'll multiply the right side by 4. I'm clearing this first equation of fractions. So 2 divides into 4 2 times. And let's go ahead and multiply. That's 2 times x, or 2x, minus 2 times 3, or 6 is equal to, and here the 4's divide out, and I have 2 minus y. Let's go ahead and write it in standard form. I'll add y to both sides, so I'll have 2x. Now I will add y to both sides, so it'll be plus y is equal to 2, and then I'll add 6 to both sides, and 2 plus 6 is 8. You may need to take a few more steps than I did, so feel free to do so. But here is that first equation in an equivalent form. 2x plus y is equal to 8. And I'm going to rewrite it. That's 2x plus y is equal to 8. Let's do the exact same thing with this second equation of our system. Let's multiply both sides of this equation by 6, the LCD. So 6 times the left side, 7 minus 2x all over 3 is equal to 6 times y over 2. 3 divides into 6 2 times. Let's go ahead and multiply. 2 times 7 is 14, minus 2 times 2x is 4x, is equal to 2 divides into 6 3 times, and I have 3y. I'm going to write this as 14 is equal to 4x plus 3y. In other words, I added 4x to both sides. But when I write it up here, I'm going to write it as 4x plus 3y is equal to 14. 4x plus 3y is equal to 14. All right. That was 4x plus 3y is equal to 14. These are equivalent equations to the original equations. So this is an equivalent system. Now, do you want to solve using substitution or using elimination or addition? We could certainly solve the first equation for y and go from there, or we can multiply the first equation through by negative 3, and the coefficients of y's will be opposites of each other. I'll do that. I'm going to multiply the left side of that equation by negative 3, and the right side by negative 3. Don't forget to multiply both sides by whatever number you chose. So I'll simplify. That's negative 6x minus 3y is equal to negative 24. Now underneath, I'll write the second equation of the system, 4x plus 3y is equal to 14. Now let's add. Notice the y's subtract out like I want. Negative 6x plus 4x, that's negative 2x is equal to negative 24 plus 14, that's negative 10. And if I divide both sides by negative 2, I'll have that x is 5. Negative 10 divided by negative 2, that's 5. So I have an x value for an ordered pair solution. How can we find the equivalent y value? You can go to any equation of the system that has two variables in it, a variable x and a variable y in it, I should say. I'll simply choose this equation. Instead of x, I'll let x be 5, plus y is equal to 8. And now I'll solve for y. That's 10 plus y is equal to 8. And if I subtract 10 from both sides, I'll have 8 minus 10, or negative 2. The y value is negative 2. This system has a single ordered pair solution. Here are the coordinates, and you know how to check.